Nope, that's all word. Brought to you by Room for Freedom. I still don't think there's anything there, <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, I'm here with Lisa Delasho, Delasho from Lucha Show. You're the new lover, allegedly. Yay! Yay. <laughs> allegedly. I've been trying like hell to get you to do an episode. This is why we didn't have a show last week. <laughs> we the just, time difference. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was a time difference. It was just like I, there was one time where I didn't like my alarm clock like woke me up and I was like, <laughs> ah, all right, I'm getting up. And then my alarm <laughs> clock went off again. Damn it. <laughs> like, I fell right back asleep. <laughs> and a bunch it's like of other 3 a.m. here. I'm like, dude, I'm sleeping. What? Yeah. <laughs> or trying to. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> we were was like, talking about little birds. I mean, the cats. Sorry. The yeah, the little cats. cats. <laughs> the little cats. Yes. <laughs> Dude, here's what drives me nuts about LRN.FM. All right. Every time I listen to that thing, I, li- I hear – I don't even know if I'm if I'm if my recording levels are good. We should just do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> Go ahead and talk. Okay. <laughs> Why not? It sounds right. I think it sounds – well, you can come up. Anyways, um – but every time I listen to the free uh, LRN.FM, it's like they, they have that, that commercial is like, hey, next time you're on Facebook and you're scrolling through your lol cats and your motivational pictures. And <laughs> I'm like, do people still post any of that stuff that he just mentioned? <laughs> like, I think this ad is like so old. It's wow, lost relevance. Wow, that probably is really old. <laughs> yeah. But I think lol cats need to make a comeback. <sighs> Can I has cheeseburger can only be funny for so long, but it's, I don't know. I think it's dead for a reason. Sad to say. Mm, that's sad. Yeah. yeah. Just like, mm. I mean, there's a lot of things I get kind of nostalgic for. Like when I, when I, when someone posts like an advice dog, I'm like, wow. Oh, do you mean, uh, which dog? What the, is, the dog oh, with I the big rainbow yes. behind its head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it gives you bad advice. <laughs> This is the early days of memes. Yeah. So, speaking of someone giving bad advice, like, okay, <laughs> tangent time. I know this. This is like the tangent show so far, and, and I have sh- a little bit of show prep to, to go through. By the way, <laughs> I swear I do. So I I made a I made a big order of flags, and I thought like because I wanted to, to sell some flags, I wanted to start selling flags because that's I could do that right. Um, so I put down like two, almost two hundred bucks of my own money and, and bought like thirty flags. Uh, and I was like, okay, I could sell these things, you know, and uh, turn around and, and buy it and, you know, try to get my, my, my price down as, as I buy it. So anyways, I sent them like all these high resolution TIFF files that are in CMYK, like what, is, what you're supposed to use for printing and all this other stuff. And they were perfect. And we we're having some negotiation. And then, and then, and then it was like one of these things where I was like, ah, let's, it's, it's more than I expected. Let's, let's cut things down a little bit how about for, for just these? And I don't want these two images. And they were like, we don't know which one you're talking about. And I put, made like a little thing out of their order form. And I was like, these two. And they're like, we don't understand. And I was like, okay. And I, <laughs> I sent them a message. I said, okay, here's here. I I'm at, I'm at work. So I don't have access to the TIFF files I gave you, but they're all there. You have them. Here's the, here's what these two look like, by the way, don't use these pictures to print flags with. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> They're just like an example. Like I read it to you. What exactly it says? I'm not going to pull it up here. And yeah. And they were like, "Okay, cool, got it." And so they printed off the two flags. I got 15 each. One is like a, a it's like a spook, f- spook war German flag. <laughs> like, forget what I called <laughs> oh, it exactly. Um, it's, it's a spook. Um, Oh my goodness! Oh, a Spook Craig flag. <laughs> That's what it be <laughs> so it kind of looks like the the the, Ke- the Kekistan flag, but it's it's got a Ghostbusters in the middle of it, and it's got Max Ster- Mock Sterner at the bottom. Yeah, then, I think I saw one of those on Facebook. Yeah, and then I had an Egoist Maybe. flag, which is yeah. just basically the teal and black flag, and it's got the, the little picture of or drawing of Max Sterner in the middle, like common. And anyway, so they on the on the on the one that I made, the the one with the TIFF, they used the high resolution one and not the low resolution example that I gave them. So that was like, good. So you got that one. But when they sent over this one, it's like super low resolution and it's you can actually I'm just looking at it from the wall. I'm about like maybe fit 10 feet away from it and I can see the pixelation <laughs> in it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? 
So you t- so you took my advice for for the first Im- for the second image, not even the first one. <laughs> for the first one, you gave me this shit, and they're like, "Oh, we're sorry, we made a mistake. Next time, we'll we'll do better." I'm like, N- "You <laughs> don't understand." Time. <laughs> Next time, <laughs> uh, uh-uh. <laughs> just drop it. Next time, I'm bucks. going down to Kinkos to get them. Yeah, what? So I wonder who thought that was okay to send that out. Like, this is re- this looks terrible, but we're just gonna send it to him. Maybe he won't notice. Yeah. Who does that? Don't they have quality control? You know, at the end of the line, whoever's packing that in the box, they yeah. say something's not right here because I see bad design. But yeah, well, I guess not. It, mm-hmm. it, okay, so I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> like if if you if someone gave me that flag and was like, oh, here, you know, here's a little free flag, I'd be like, that's kind of neat, like a free flag, and it looks kind of neat. I mean, it's it's not the best looking thing. I could see why you know it looks like you cut some corners on it. Whatever. <laughs> um, she responded again. I'm trying to find it. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, it's on now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Except for the image of film, the problem with the fly. Except the image film. Except for the image film. What other problem about the flags? This lady. What? <laughs> That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? <laughs> Except for the whole flag itself being pixelated, what's wrong with the flag? I mean, flag? It's, it's a one-sided flag, so the other side looks a little, little, little ba- like, like a little lighter than it does on the other side. But it's a one-sided flag, and and most people are not going to be flying this flag. Well, maybe this one, but they're not going to be flying the, <laughs> the, the one that kind of looks like a Nazi flag. They're not going to be flying that around. I got. I hope not. <laughs> so that one's probably going to be hanging will. on your wall just to kind of like annoy your friends or something. And that's why yeah, people I have around it here hanging. drive those with the next to their confederate flag on their back of their truck (laughs) that's what they do here i live in maryland okay they do (laughs) then you should buy this and fly this on your on your car (laughs) i should my landlord put it on my porch out here which faces a boardwalk (laughs) there's lots of people my i'd get a phone call um miss miss lisa you need to take that down that violates our whatever code for not being tacky (laughs) it's if it (laughs) It's kind of making fun of Nazi flags. So that's the whole point. It's like it's just I saying know, like your whole thing is get a spook. It, which would be kind of funny, but yeah, I ended up having to move. <laughs> I kind of want to move anyway. Yeah. That's my excuse. Your air conditioner don't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm being stalked because I have this pseudo Nazi flag. Yeah. <laughs> So now that we're bearing the lead on who who the hell are you by the way <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm, me oh <laughs> I'm there's there's I'm sure there's a lot of segment of my audience that aren't really that familiar with the fiends so you should probably <laughs> say who you are <laughs> say who I okay. am okay yeah I'm a, I'm a fiends co-host a little over a year freedom fiends that is mm-hmm. and I own a website called nutritional anarchy and I write there about health and nutrition diet news. I debunk a lot of myths that go around, you know, like people talk about dietary fat being bad. And so anytime some kind of mainstream media story comes out where that's not true or or they misinterpret a study, I'll write about that. And then I also am the editor in chief of the Daily Sheeple and I've been working for them for five years and I write under Lily Dane there. What's so. the point of having a pseudonym if you're going to tell everybody what you're doing? I know. Yeah, I know. I should have just used my name. But when I started there, my best friend got me the job, and she's been writing under a pseudonym for years. I mean, gosh, since so probably cool 2008. Yeah. So she said, you should do this. You're not going to want people to know who you are because you're going to be talking about the IRS and police brutality and all these things. So you don't want people to know who you are. And it just – I started posting my articles on my Facebook page, and I'm like, People would talk about it. And I said, oh, yeah, I wrote this. And then next thing I know, everybody just knows it's me. And I thought, I don't have anything to hide. I don't care. I'm not scared. Yeah. If you have, if even just like one layer of anonymity kind of really helps. Like people, people know <laughs> who I, yeah, if, 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 it's really easy to find out what my full name is, right? Cause I use it on my Facebook. Uh, and I, I've announced it publicly. Like I tried to keep it quiet for a while, and then Scientology doxed me, and I was like, "Ah, oh, well, oh, that was they fun. did not." Yeah, did they really? You're <laughs> yeah, kidding me. me. I thought you were just whoa. That's and, scary. But I, what I really wasn't trying to keep it hidden because I wasn't part of anonymous. Kind of okay. So like, I have been protesting <laughs> Scientology like two years before anonymous figured out what Scientology was. And wow. 
but in in the meantime, I had figured out what 4chan was and was playing on 4chan on the B boards. Oh god! <laughs> so it was kind of like a weird merger where like they were like, "How come?" The, like when I went to a protest, they were like, "Okay, so we we've seen you protest here. Like we know that you're an old guard, <laughs> but how oh come you know gosh. all the? How come you know all of our like 2008 memes?" <laughs> I was like, "Whoa, no comment." <laughs> That is spooky. Yeah, and um, and I can't remember what, what year they doxed me, but um, it was like right before I moved back to California, they doxed me when I was <laughs> in Kansas. Wow. And I was just like, but it was I wasn't trying to keep it too hidden because I was, I was I, I was putting my face out there and I had my first name out there. It was just kind of like I'm just gonna kind of keep it on the low, <laughs> like I'm not gonna announce yeah. who I am. <laughs> And then they figured out my name and address, post pictures of my house from like Google image uh, maps and stuff. And I was like, ah, oh, oh, well, that was Oh, fun. man. <laughs> did anybody bother you? Did anybody use the information? Um, you know, I had. Stalk you? Well, I had. Uh, they, they called because I was at the time I was working at a supermarket while I was going to school. Mm-hmm. And I was just for just for side money. And uh, I was just like, they they tried, and I had warned them, like, I, yeah, I, I I annoy Colts, so they may call you and tell you that I'm a bigot. Oh my gosh! And so, <laughs> and I guess they they came in one day and they were like, we got a call saying that like you were a terrible, horrible like bigot. Oh my god! <laughs> and I was like, that's oh crazy. okay, that's funny. And they were like, all right, we just thought I'd let you know that it happened. <laughs> wow yeah. that's wild i did not know that about you <laughs> oh my gosh they scare me i would honestly be other people have threatened to dox me i'm like okay you know there's there's nothing i'm not really worried about it but them they would that would spook me a little yeah you're like i'm not cops. afraid of much <laughs> you got whatever met. irs who the cares scientology, the scientology. Whoa, whoa. no <laughs> right oh i did oh not sign up for this <laughs> <laughs> now they're pretty much harmless. It, I mean, not wouldn't say completely harmless. Like they'll still they'll still fuck with you if if you if you try to come out and speak yeah. out, against, out against them and you're getting a lot of attention. They'll they'll do. It. But someone like me, they were more interested in back before Chanology. That's when they were interested in me. Once hmm. I once once whole once anonymous got a hold of it and it started getting some major press then it was, i was just i was just small fry to them it was like well screw this guy we don't care about him yeah <laughs> moving on wow so that i'm guessing was before a lot of people really knew what they're about yeah and the things they do yeah so now it's not it's not new to anybody and yeah. they, they probably wouldn't have any reason to be to come after i mean i'm sure they still would on some level yeah, i mean they're I, crazy but <laughs> I, I i talk crap on them but it's like it's it's very rare that I, that I have anything to say about Scientology because, ev- like, that's it's a new trendy thing on, on the media. I think like Leah was it Leah Moreni? What's her name? The Moreni. Yeah, she was she for a, many. I think she's an actress. Yeah, she was one, I guess. And she she's got a TV remember, show about whoa about hating on Scientology. <laughs> and um, she was one of their most outspoken yeah. supporters for a long time. And I thought, man, this chick is brainwashed. And then you know, it came out that. I heard that she was speaking out against them. That uh, she's going to end up dead or something. Jeez. I mean, I hope not. She's too high profile them. now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Spooky. Yeah, she's and, and, and she doesn't have really have the goods on on anybody like someone like Mike Render or Marty Rathbun or someone like that has. They have some real goods because you know they're they're kind of involved in the whole celebrity center type thing where where they get treated with a red carpet and everything. Whereas, you know, like people in the sea org are actually in slave labor camps in the middle of Hemet (laughs) and like, (laughs) you know, and they're getting beat up by the leader. Like the the leader comes out and just beats the crap out of random people every once in a while. Yikes. Yeah. And people like Mike Render and all those other people, like they got to see all that stuff. And that's, that's more interesting to people than, Oh yeah, we're, we're celebrity. And they, they were extra nice to us more mm. than they'll be nice to you. <laughs> yeah, of course, because they have the money and mm-hmm. the, the fame. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Scientology sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got involved. Never even it. thought about joining. Yeah. I got, <laughs> you what? The reason why I got involved in the first place was the whole, um, uh, South Park thing. Do you remember the whole the South Park had an episode about Scientology? Yeah. 
and they had <laughs> and the one thing that really got me was the the Xenu kind of origin story. <laughs> And I thought that was the funniest thing ever. And I was like, do they really believe this? And I st- and back then, this was MySpace, okay? Like, there was no f- – yeah. Facebook was for college kids, I think, at the time. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go see if this is real. And I started going to all the, the, the MySpace groups and was like, is this real? Did they really do that? And they're like, yeah, yes, it's true. It's where you get some information and whatever. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Ha ha. Had a good laugh. Moved on. Didn't think about it for like <laughs> months. And then, like, they started passing, like, Scientologists on MySpace had been passing around these lists of people to report. Like, all the Scientologists were in their own little groups, and they would have, like, a list. Like, here are all the profiles and all the links to their profile page that you have to go and report because they're SPs, the suppressive people. Oh, my. And right. they're, they're out to bash you. And I was on that list. And I was like, <laughs> wow. what did I do? Like, I just went on there and just laughed at, laughed at you and then moved on. It's not like I was, like out there trying to stop you guys or do anything. And that my name kept appearing on these lists. I never got actually banned. There was a lot of people that I ended up talking to who did. So I got to see it and my name just kept moving right up the list. And then my space died before I got <laughs> canceled. Shoo! But, before your number came up. But after a while it was kind of like, goodness. okay, I have to go do something. And I met some, some, some people in Kansas city and started protesting. Yeah. Dated one of them. Oh fun. my! Why yeah. you wanted to get on the inside and get insider information? No, no, no we were no, we were protesting. <laughs> <laughs> we were standing on the corner oh, with I signs. Oh, you, you dated a Scientologist! <laughs> like, wow, talk about infiltrating no, no, no. the group. No. <laughs> <laughs> like you're dedicated to your literally cause. <laughs> on the inside, right? <laughs> I thought I dated crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone that far. <laughs> yeah, dating cult members—that'd be a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah yeah don't even i we have a cult now on facebook you know you know what i mean <laughs> steve teases me about my my problems with this particular cult flat earth oh, flat earth oh god <laughs> i see you every once in a while like i swear to god i'm gonna start blocking everybody who talks about the flat earth they make like, me crazy jeez i'm like okay that's interesting and then i see it like five more times in the course of a month and i'm like i just never really thought about like okay are they bugging you <laughs> like, they were they really were for a while i mean i would post somehow i got a lot of them on my friends list and i would post something about like you know i don't know some random thing like nutrition or health or whatever and they would come in and say nasa lies about everything you know <laughs> they come in with their they they have to always they're like vegans they have to talk about it all yeah. the time and people who do crossfit so they're they're like that and they just were any any kind of random threat about anything they'd come in like please pretend it's it's all a big lie and they're lying about the shape of the earth and then they call you names like globe t- globe tard and i don't like that at all i'm like i don't think that's cute so you know goodbye yeah. So then somebody added me to a Did private group that tard. is for people to block <laughs> them. So like, <laughs> they're like, you really don't like these people. So we're putting you in this group now. And we just link to everybody's profile. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm not going to go on some kind of blocking rampage. And just, yeah, that I have things to do all day. <laughs> I'm busy. I have a really high bar, but it takes a lot for me to block you. <laughs> like a lot for me to block you. Um, yeah, for me, it's generally just rel- relentless trolling, name calling. I mean, I've been called every name in the book. On if you're known, the, for, I like it when they get creative, though. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you're one of those people who are just known, to, like anytime anybody disagrees with you, that you block them, I will try. I'll go out of my way and find them to block them first. So that's that's only <laughs> two people so far, and that's Steve Shives. <laughs> so I got Steve Shive blocked, and I'm happy about that. He's got me blocked on Twitter, and I never tweeted at him. Uh, but, <laughs> but he blocked me. I up. don't even know who that is. Oh wow! Should I be prompt to be block blocking him? He is, <laughs> he is like the epitome of like male social justice warrior. Oh gosh, like, okay. cuck would probably be the right term. Like I, I really don't like that term. But this is this this, but... this shoe fits. Yeah, like if there he had like this. Tangent again. He had like this video where he was talking to his girl or his wife rather about <laughs> about like things that he liked, and and in the middle of it, she just started like accusing him of having like a like a like a subconscious hatred for women because all the music he listens to is like is is uh is male singers 
and who was it? He oh liked, my he liked Angel more than Buffy. <laughs> You've got to be kidding! And me. he just sit, he just sit there and like took it. <laughs> it was just like, wow, what yeah. is happening? That's sad. And, and what's really sad is like some of his channel was actually pretty good. Like he had some kind of like what was it five stupid things where he would go like, oh, here's five stupid things about the Holocaust denial deniers, or here's five stupid things about uh, GM like anti GMO stuff. And here's five stupid things like, you know, just kind of skepticism, science based stuff. And I was like, Oh, this is kind of neat. You know, five stupid things about mm-hmm. creationism, five stupid things about the flat earth. And then it just started like, <laughs> and I remember he just started turning into like, here's five stupid things about MRAs. Here's five stupid things about, uh, you know, misconceptions about feminism. And then it got to the point, oh boy. <laughs> like, I had already left. I was like, Five stupid things about conservatives. Here's five stupid things about libertarians. What was it? Uh, he did one. Where, he likes the list post. Yeah, he was one of those type of things. But he was doing it long before BuzzFeed. Mm-hmm. And, I'm going to have to find him just out of morbid curiosity. And, and block him. Who's <laughs> 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 the other one? Anyways, he, I kind of dropped off. And then when, every time I kind of checked back on him, he's got one that's like, now he doesn't do five stupid things because f- stupid is a problematic word. It's ableist. Oh my goodness. It's oh one- <laughs> no, 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 no. So now no. every single one has a different title. It's like five problematic things about MRAs or <laughs> like, What when do people you. become so sensitive? I don't know what I can say or what I can call people anymore. I'm just you know, I just I don't even greet people, I just nod at them now. That's probably offensive yeah. to you. So it's probably so, some kind of cultural appropriation. I remember I I, I commented <laughs> something on Richard the Dick Coughlin's Facebook page, and he liked it and responded to it. And I was like, "Oh no 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 no! <laughs> you don't <laughs> you don't get to block me on Twitter and then like my stuff on Facebook. It ain't happening." <laughs> so I blocked him. You know what? Like, <laughs> That's funny. I've had people do that too. I'm like, wait a minute now. What's <laughs> I've had people unfriend me and then they still follow me and they'll come and like my stuff and comment. I'm like, oh no, you unfriended me, so you get blocked. <laughs> you yeah. don't get to come around here. <laughs> I'm petty like that. Yeah. <laughs> Not not really. Uh, but and I was like, like no, not, that's, sometimes that's kind of a good rule. Like if someone like is just preemptively blocking people that they just disagree with just because they want to live in a little bubble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make their job easier and block them first. So that way I can at least like peek in and see what they're doing if I want to unblock them or whatever. <laughs> and the only you other be in control. <laughs> yeah. The only other person I did that to was Jared Howell. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. I knew it. I, I have not blocked him and he has not blocked me, but I don't argue with him. I'm, I'm like the, you know, the quiet observer. I just watch all these arguments and I don't say much. <laughs> I just sit back. And I don't want to be, I don't, there are certain people I don't want to be blocked by because it's just so entertaining to yeah. read what they say. Yeah. I have an so alternate I try to lay account. Low. <laughs> yeah. I have an alternate <laughs> account and you're not going to find it because it's not friends with me or most of my friends on Facebook. You're not going to find it. But I have another one and I just log in. Challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and. Some I, of your Scientology that's how meme. I just that's how I just go in and like peek around at stuff. You know, I can't go into stuff that only I have access to, like you know, certain groups or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. You know, like hidden groups or whatever. I can't go peek at those, but you know, I can go <laughs> peek at my own timeline. <laughs> <Basically>. <laughs> like, let me see from the outside what this looks like. I used to have another one, and I never went to it, so I ended up just getting rid of it because I was getting a lot of weird friend requests over there. And then some people were figuring out it was me. So people who I'm not actually friends with, not family, because I was reserving that just for that, were figuring out it was me and I was getting all these friend requests from my main list. And I was like, what is the point of this? (laughs) I'm busted. I didn't use a fake enough name. I've learned that the best thing that is, I don't know, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Because if you, if you, if your fake account is a guy, then you're going to get uh, friend requests from like sex spam bots. <laughs> oh, but no. if your alt account is a female, then you're going to get actual guys hitting on you. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's, it's double edged sword. True, so they're, they're, you're always going to get bugged on Facebook, no matter what you are. Yeah, Facebook. I wonder if eventually Facebook will just go away, like MySpace did. No, no. No, I don't think so. I think it's here to don't stay. Don't make me sad. 
It's here to no. stay. And they're going to eat up everything else. So they already, what is it? They got Instagram. Uh, they tried to buy Snapchat. What did they try to buy Snapchat for? It was something like ten billion dollars or something. I remember it was like some insane number. I was like, "What?" The yeah, heck? my daughter's boyfriend is a Snapchat spokesperson and celebrity. Uh, yeah, but uh, it looks so. like it's starting to fall <laughs> on the wayside because. Yep, I saw Instagram that. Instagram is copying all their features, and so is Facebook. You know, and they own both, so. Yeah, my son says that Facebook is for old people and Instagram is where it's at and Snapchat. And I he tries to Snapchat me sometimes. I don't know how to work it. I don't know what's happening. I'll get this notification and I don't know what to do. And then by the time I figure it out, it's gone anyway. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yes, that's how Steve Miller Miller when you said contact me was on Snapchat. I'm like, dude. <laughs> is that where he is these days? Yeah. I was like, you're not even sending dick pics. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, well, there's no fun in that. I mean, what's the, there's no incentive for us to come over there. Because exactly. If you're not at least going to give up the goods, there's no point. <laughs> I'm not a sumo, unfortunately. So. Yeah, I, you know, saying... I saw that in the little box here, and I thought that's, that's such a Steve thing. He had to have come up with that. Mm. No? Or did you? Sexting well, sumos. I think, that, I think it was all him, yeah. Sexting sumo. I knew it. I knew it. Because the sumo thing. Yeah. I remember. I remember He's a sumo sexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. He is probably the only sumo sexual. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Because I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's someone probably someone out there. Yeah. But I was like, is there like porn of this? Like, is there <laughs> like, is there? A, There's probably like a Reddit group or a vote group. I'm for sure that. <laughs> they have. They I'm have, gonna search later. They have fetish porn for everything, and he was like, "Nope, there are no fat Asian men porn websites." I was like, <laughs> "Yet, what's the market? <laughs> like, can I hire people to do that? Because I don't want to see it. But can I hire people that do that and I just invest in it?" <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, pretty much it seems like most of the markets for things have been covered. Maybe that mm -hmm. one is a, one to break into. Why be another browsers, right? Because there's like 80 billion browsers now. <laughs> but, you know what? I don't know what that means. You have to tell me what that means. Oh, browsers is a porn website. Oh, see, not, not, see, so now you got a whole loop. slew of memes that you understand now. All the like the picture of Jared holding like hugging, a, hugging a girl that says browsers on the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, it all makes sense now. <laughs> I have seen I've seen it around and I never wanted to be that person. I was afraid to Google it and I didn't want to be plus the Z key on my keyboard is broken. And I didn't want to be the person to ask in a thread, like on a meme. You don't want to be that person who And you write what does articles this mean? but I don't your Z's know. don't and work. I know it's tricky. Well, I have auto, you know, I have the spell check thing. Oh, okay. So I'll just type the wrong word and it'll correct it for me in WordPress. <laughs> I have a new laptop with a working Z key it's sitting right here. I just haven't really used it that much yet. So they have these things called um, <laughs> USB keyboards. Mm. And you can oh. actually plug them into your laptop and it'll work. Oh. Just FYI. And you can buy those There's things for like idea. five bucks at Walmart or something. <laughs> okay. Might I, might, I you. probably can order one online. <laughs> Yeah, Amazon. I, am, I don't want to get a Walmart. Okay. Go to the Walmart. Especially not here. Yeah, get, especially get, not get here. Get yourself some Zima. Yeah, with all the Confederate flags and the. No. I, I'm staying. They have Confederate flags. Order from Amazon. I have to use a Z key to type in Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Google knows. Life so. is over. <laughs> yeah. I have I've managed for, gosh, it's broken a couple of years. That's it's an achievement. Yeah, <laughs> but anyways, um, the show. I don't know. I, sh I should have segued when we were talking about S Steve Shives, <laughs> Jared Howe. Yeah, I have to look this person up. I know who Jared is. I don't know who Steve is. Yeah, he's. They're all snowflakes, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm getting kind of tired of this whole like. I mean, you you can personify the left however you want. That's fine. But like, but they give the right like a like a get out of jail free card for their snowflakery, and it it just annoys me to no end. It's like, yeah, the the left are snowflakes, as are the right. Like, do, you, do you, how many videos of us 
or how many uh, us i don't i don't bur- i don't do this but how many videos have you seen where like someone is burning the flag and some some republican is like freaking out and like hitting people or <laughs> trying to steal their stuff and right that and back when I think it was in January. I wrote an article about Jeff Sessions and man, did people on the right freak out on me. Mm -hmm. Total meltdown. How can you talk about him? He's a good man. And I'm okay. Everything in my article was, I researched, it was fact-based. I linked out to everything. It was very well researched because I knew I was going to get backlash and people were coming in. He didn't say that. And I'm like, here's a video of him actually saying it <laughs> here. You can listen to him say it. Well, you took it out of con. Well, he's changed his mind since then. You took it out of context. And you know, now people are like, Oh shoot. Okay. Maybe he's not such a good guy, but wow. The right side meltdown was glorious. <laughs> I said, you can't call anyone on the left snowflakes now, the way you guys are <laughs> behaving over this, this one thing, they were so triggered. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. That's what's nice about being like us. You know, we're neutral pretty much. So we can trigger somebody on the left, trigger somebody on the right. It's, well, libertarians will get triggered too, though. Like I've, I've, I've seen some hardcore libertarian triggering. Everybody gets triggered. Like there's, there's no escaping it. There's no the escaping it. The B word is the trigger right now. The, the B word. Border, borders. Oh, boy. Bord, no. Yeah. But watch me when I watch me next time you see me on Facebook when I when someone brings up the NAP. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I, yeah. <laughs> and I'll just talk about like, yeah, I'm not a fan. My holy doctor. I'm gonna come over there and steal your car since you don't believe in the nap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've never talked about the nap really, and I don't. I don't now. I never really did. I just feel like. Yeah, I don't I don't know really know how to explain my stance on it, but probably similar to yours, but I've I've never really talked to anybody about it. But like I don't bring it up thumb. just because it's a good rule of thumb. Yeah, but it's it's not an axiom to live by. <laughs> it's infeasible. Right. I mean there are certainly legal. are times yeah. I have friends who have brought up times where they're like, you know, I would violate the heck out of that if I saw this happening or that happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was an argument. Oh, I don't know if you saw this. It was a couple of months ago on Facebook where someone had broken a car window to save a baby that was in a car. Okay. In a hot car. And people were saying that the person who broke the car window damaged property and violated the NAP. <laughs> and I'm like, you've, they saved a life. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And I came in and I'm like, excuse me, you know, maybe, okay, d- maybe I'm a fake or anarchist or libertarian or whatever you want to call me, but you're damn right I'm going to break a window to save an animal or a person. And they were so stuck to their principles, you know, that they, well, no, it's violation of property. I'm like, then offer to pay for the window. Yeah. I don't, you know, there's, yeah, people take it to the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember seeing and this. This was uh, this was when I was start kind of turning into a libertarian, like, and it was a min- minarchist anyway. But I remember seeing a car accident. It was it was Fourth of July. We were we were driving. What was it? New Year? I can't remember. It was Fourth. It was one of those holidays where everybody gets drunk and crashes. And we were at a stoplight. <laughs> we, were, we were going back to to where we lived, and it was like this road where everybody where you can drive fifty five, and of course everybody drives like sixty or seventy. And we were waiting at the stoplight, and then right at, right when it turned green for us, we just saw this car fly right in front of every – and like they saw it coming, and they were like, this guy's not going to stop. And so they didn't go. And there was like f- three or four cars in front of me, and it just smacks right into um, one of the, uh, the the poles, the, the streetlight poles. Whoa. Yeah. And everybody was like – there was someone there who actually was like a medic. Like, they're like, I can't get through this door or whatever. And I actually had to bend the car – like the – I was trying to open the door. And the just the whole like window just cracked and smashed and like I actually pulled the whole like, side of the, wow. the top part of the, you know because like a Honda Civic and those things are like it's really thin metal so yeah but I was able to like bust it down and then like the the, the fire department was like so we know who to send a bill to right and I was like oh fuck oh you. no <laughs> he was like I'm just fucking with you good right. Samaritan laws for that or something no he he was just fucking with me. <laughs> Okay, good. Shoot. I mean, you never know these days. But it's funny because there's actually libertarians who think like, no, that's a that's a legitimate property claim. <laughs> like, fuck 
you. Yeah, it would let you die because you want to stick to your principles. Talk about stubborn. That's so silly. I should have just let Some you Some of the die. arguments they have, I just sit there and roll my eyes. I'm like, really? Because at some point, you know, humanity and compassion and common sense, yes. mat they matter <laughs> a lot. So, so and then I get called a commie or a leftist. I'm like, okay, fine. Call me a leftist. I don't care. I'm not one, but... <laughs> <laughs> people need to label anyway which yeah i don't really oh, i don't really you feel disagree with me on one thing and, and what's that no i'm hmm. saying like you disagree with me on one thing and that one oh. thing is a particular group may agree with that particular stance ergo you also accept all of their stances that's that's what that's what that's what pure, yeah. that's what pure ideology does to people though it's pure ideology it does i was debating borders with somebody recently because that's all anybody talks about these days like there's not other pressing issues going on uh, that we could actually fix but they were <laughs> arguing that and they're like have you ever read this book have you read rothbard have you read this and i'm like i've read some of it i don't really i don't really need to because to me I, i'm a libertarian because it's common sense to me i mean the reason i don't know if you know my story and how i came to be this way but I had neighbors back, gosh, like 2001, I think it was, and they were very Republican. And we were talking about some issue one day outside having beer. And, and one of them said, you know, what is your political stance? And I said, I don't, I don't have one. And he said, what do you mean? And I said, I guess I'm independent. I just think the government should leave people alone. <laughs> and he said, oh, so you're a libertarian. And I said, yeah, I just think people should leave pe each other alone and not hurt each other and, you know, not steal from each other. And and he said, oh, so I started looking into libertarianism and I thought, yeah, OK, this is if I have to pick something, it's the best fit. So to me, it's just common sense. I don't need to read all those books. I don't I don't really care. I don't it doesn't matter. And to me, that's that's kind of good because I'm not getting stuck in someone else's dogma. And I don't have I'm not appealing to authority like a lot of people do. Well, he said this. I don't care. He died 30 years ago. <laughs> I'm just like, what is <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter to me. We, like um, we live in such a different world than a lot of these thinkers even like when you talk about like per, like when people talk about like what property is theft like when Perdone talked about that stuff it was like at the time yeah. at the time it was true like at the time property like in terms of like capital goods was was really theft like anytime any of these things were invented it was immediately <laughs> seized by the state and was handed over to the mercantilist class. Like mm -hmm. anytime there was like private, like like large swaths of land where farmers were going and letting their their cattle graze, the state would take it <laughs> and hand it over to to capital <laughs> the not the capitalist class but the the mercantilist class and make make them pay for it. Like that's what they were constantly doing. So at the time, it was true, and I think I think he even like recanted it. He was like, I I, I think I said that wrong, <laughs> but. <laughs> And he was trying to explain, like that's what that's how he viewed it. And now we we hear like, oh, property is theft. But at the same time, it's like production. Um, um, God damn it! I just said it. Capital goods are like something that that's like our home appliances are becoming capital goods now. You know. Yeah, and, times have changed a lot. Yeah, and if back in the seventies with Rothbard, if you wanted to start a firm and you don't have any money and you wanted to reach out to venture capitalists, it's like you had to know people who knew people and you had to have ins and you had to have like a track record. Now it's like you go to a website and there's, there's like VCs like all over the place, just waiting to dump money on you for any stupid idea. And especially if, it's, if it just has the word blockchain attached to it, the people will give you all <laughs> sorts of stupid money for dumb ideas or bad execution and, you can have the note. I think I don't even think there was a team for Arcade City. I think it was just Christopher David just just taking the money and living living it up. <laughs> wow. That was about it. Yeah, and producing I need a to get fake more app. Creative. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that idiot can get millions of dollars, any one yeah, of these ancoms can can do it and start their own little <laughs> worker co op. You know, just pay yeah, off. Yeah, so VC. true. And I've said, I don't care what they do as long as they don't force anybody else to do it. I don't, because there are people who will say, you know, ANCAPs or whatever, who will say, oh, you know, no. And I'll say, well, you know, wait a minute. Like, what if we did abolish the state? And there were big groups of people who wanted to own property together and work that property together. Well, no, you, that sounds like a commune. I'm like, okay, if it's all voluntary and they're not forcing anybody else to be involved, who cares what they do? You know, but oh, yeah. my, my principles. <laughs> 
Why does every, why does every, <laughs> okay, I, I can see like, okay, I don't think it'll be the most beneficial organization. Okay. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But why is there should be like prohibitions on it? Like, are, is that what they're wanting? They uh, might as well have a state then. If yeah. That's what they want. I, I'm of the mind that none of it is my business at all. Yeah. And whatever, if we ever have, which we all know is, isn't going to happen anyway, I don't think. But if we ever had a stateless society, then. I don't care what other people do yeah, as long it, as they don't they're not hurting me or it would be a huge know, lab. My family. Yeah. If it, if, if, oh, if, yeah. if the whole country decided like, well, we don't need government anymore. It wouldn't be like Ann Capistan or Ann Compton. Like it would be like a bunch of little <laughs> Ann Capistans and Ann Comptons and, Ann, and, and sin, whatever that city that is. And maybe there might be like a union of egoist town or <laughs> ego, yeah, egotopia. Right. Or, <laughs> there's gonna be a whole bunch of these things and everybody would be trying different ideas you know the zeitgeist movement would be like can we, can we please have technology um yeah i'll pass <laughs> on that one <laughs> yeah that's what i tell people like, you know we're talking about l- <laughs> how many people live in the united states now come on they're million. funny they all they think everyone's just gonna stick by their no. little ideology and it's not gonna happen nope we can't i mean we can't even agree among ourselves <laughs> How do they expect everybody else to get on board? Yep. Yeah, yep. I just sit back and watch and I shake my head. And it's interesting. Some of it's really entertaining. But there's also a lot of witch hunts. I don't really like that either. There's a lot of people who will put other people on blast. They take screenshots like, this guy said this. Oh, my God, he's so dumb. Can you believe it? And I'm like, yep, I swear to God, if anyone ever does that to me, I'm writing an article about them and millions of people will read it. <laughs> there was a guy who, who friended me and he was like an alt writer. And I remember he, he put like, I said something, I can't remember what exactly it was. It has something to do with fascism. And I was saying like, uh, um, like, um, I don't remember what exactly what it was, but he like, he tried to put me on blast for it. He was like, ha ha. Well, what about Pinochet? And I was like, all right, you, you do uh. understand. You do understand that Pinochet was not a fascist; he was a an authoritarian liberal. Like there's, there's <laughs> <laughs> fascism is is a, is a complete ideology. Like just like any other one of these ideologies, it's not like everything that's authoritarian that's not on the left is fascism. That's no. That's, that's yeah, the, they're all throwing the words around. That's they don't what mean the left. Anymore, that's what know? the left does. Like that's what the left calls fascism. <laughs> it's, it's incoherent. Like fascism is like an economic and it's a socio political movement, right? Like it, it's got economic prescriptions and it's also got like prescriptions as far as like so um, social conservatism almost to the extreme. Right. And it's like a combination of all these things. Then it means it requires a fascism. I don't even think Nazism qualifies as fascism. It's kind of like a variant, right? Because it's mm-hmm. it's it's less about all that other stuff, but more about like Jews bad, Aryan good. Like it's all about Aryanism. Eek. Yeah, it's terrible. Yikes! Yeah. So yeah, like Pinochet was a terrible, horrible person for sure, but he he wasn't a fascist. <laughs> he was an authoritarian <laughs> dictator. Yeah, and people are talking about him now like it's funny, the whole helicopter thing. And I'm like, this is not funny to me at all. It and it's so funny. played out, too. There's still, yeah. it's been going on forever. And I'm like, God, you guys are playing. Get a new joke. Get a new meme. Yeah. It's boring now. <laughs> Come on. Did, I never liked it to begin with. But... Did Franco do anything? Like, really? Can we? <laughs> <laughs> well, this just in. Franco is still dead. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Let's I mean that on. joke. That's joke stood the test of time, but yeah. Like, we need Trump to make another dumb, uh, dumb tweet. <laughs> cool so coffee. Can, I'll talk about that instead. Yeah, that was great. I kind of missed that. It's so funny. I didn't think it was funny. I, I thought it was like, <laughs> okay, he made a dumb tweet. Why is everybody freaking out? <laughs> I'm easily amused though, okay. and then the orb too really amused me. Also, the orb was I just amazing. find it's so. Isn't it great? I just thought it was so funny, and. You know, reality is so dark and sad and the news is sad because I'm I drown in that all day for work. So when something like that happens, I'm like, oh, my God, I get some comedic relief. This is great. <laughs> and Twitter's people on Twitter are so funny. There's so many comedians <laughs> <Twitter's> there. <laughs> hilarious. It's great. Yeah. 
just search that keyword and that like the orb and kafifi or whatever oh gosh endless entertainment i i honestly think that if i ever did stand up and i was looking for like material that i know that i wrote i could probably just scour <laughs> my own twitter feed and be like oh there's a lot of good material in there. <laughs> i could put the whole stand up set on this thing <laughs> right now that i that say that someone's and... gonna be like that's it <laughs> i'm still jim's do jokes. it <laughs> do it yeah you're not going to get very far as a libertarian comedic stand-up you have to you, you if you're going to virtue signal you have to do it from the left if you're going to do it on well, a comedy stage well yeah probably right now but what about like doug stanhope he was and i'd say george carlin was probably kind of an anarchist mm. i mean he talked about not voting and i don't i know he didn't identify as that but yeah he was still kind of liberal at the end of the day Oh really? Huh. Yeah, a little, oh. little bit. I know hmm. his stand-up stuff is a little bit different than what he, what he'll say, like if he's doing an interview. So. Hmm. Hmm. But um, yeah, St- Stanhope is amazing, and I, and I, I know Matt hates it, but <laughs> but he, he don't get to talk because he doesn't have a preamp for his microphone, which is why he hasn't been on the show lately. Hashtag please donate to Mott. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Poor guy. Oh, but if he, but if, he if he can't get on here, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that Doug Stanhope is amazing, <laughs> and he is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But I don't know. He doesn't really talk like politics. He do, he'll mention it here and there, but he never like his whole. He never does like a whole stand up bit where he's like, "All right, let me let me let me stop, step away from being funny for a moment, so I can tell you like how bad you need to go out there and vote for Ron Paul." He never does that like all the other liberal comedians will. Like they're like, hold on, I'm gonna stop being funny for a little bit and let you know that Donald Trump is literally <laughs> right. Hitler right now. So <laughs> Yeah, I I personally see well, I I obviously because of my stance, I don't want to hear that and I don't want to hear anybody who supports Trump, but somebody like Stanhope, yeah, if he was gonna come in and start talking about a libertarian candidate even i would be okay with that even though i don't vote and if he was going to talk about you know like anarchism or voluntarism i'd be totally down free markets whatever <laughs> be cool but he would lose a lot of <laughs> he, you, i mean i can just imagine the blank stares in the crowd like what is he talking about now <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> maybe maybe if he did it with jokes it'd be funny but a lot, a lot of these comedians will just put the jokes aside for a second and it, it, I think they actually think that it's funny to, to just be like, oh, let's talk about how stupid Republicans are. Like, yeah, that could be funny, but you're not being funny about it. You're just kind of, I hate, I hate this term right. too. I hate virtue signaling, but that's kind of what they're doing. <laughs> like, I hate that term. Oh, yeah. So I have this overused. new Facebook friend who added me, and he is a big old progressive activist. I can't remember his name, but he, he added me. And then he made a post about healthcare and how healthcare is a human right. And, you know, Trump's going to take it away. And I thought, he, this guy is the biggest virtual signaler I've ever seen. I cannot believe it. Like every post. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I couldn't keep my mouth shut about the health care being a right. I was like, mm, why do you think it's a right? What do you mean? Define right. And he was like, what? Because he has a huge following and everybody agrees with him. No mm-hmm. one ever disagrees. And I came along and I'm like, hey, <laughs> hi, you don't know me, but. I have a question for you. You added me. (laughs) I disrupted the whole thing. It ended up being this like under one comment, there ended up being like 200 more. Everybody mad at me, like typing in all caps. I was like, I didn't, you guys are getting really emotional. I didn't really say anything yet. I'm just trying to tell you that there might be a better way to get healthcare that doesn't involve government at all or robbing from people via taxation. There are other ways to do it. And I go to a free market doctor, so I practice what I preach. And so I was telling them about that, but they were just all hysterical and, oh, you must be a libertarian. Oh, no, you sound like one of those anarchists. And I'm like, oh, my God, you're right. <laughs> you know, what, what we're you sh- actually real. Oh, my God. <laughs> what you should do is next time they're on that, be like, it should be a right. And be like, well, you know what? You could you could do a whole lot more with a fistful of might than a, hand, than a bag full of uh, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> freak out about that. <laughs> They're like, who is this chick? God. <laughs> there was one lady yelling at me in all caps. I said, Cindy, why are you yelling at me? <laughs> slow, slow your roll. Slow your roll, lady. <laughs> 
you aren't listening to a thing I'm saying. Here I was thinking that I could be rational and logical with these people. No, and- they were all in their little echo chamber having a good time, and I came in there like, "What's up?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, to, to, the right, the right's going to be back in this and back back in this whole square again because. <sighs> I think verna- <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it because I know Vernacula said it best. I'm trying to think of the way he said it. It's just, was well, it Vernaculus? I think it was. But he was basically saying that, like, so, like, conservatives during the aughts were in power and they had all the power <laughs> and they forgot how to argue because all they used to do was just go, like, oh, you're against Bush? Then why do you, why do you hate America? Like, why do you hate freedom? Or do you want the terrorists to win? Like why you meet before <laughs> Iraq? Like that was their whole argument, right? And so they forgot yeah. how to argue. And while ISIS. and while the left was out of power, they learned how to argue their positions, and then they learned how to be a little bit more convincing. So when they took power in two thousand and eight, then they were like, "Yay!" And then you know, then that whole thing atrophied. And now the right has been spending their whole time going like, "Well, we forgot how to argue. Let's let's figure out how to do that again." <laughs> so. <laughs> And so they had to learn how to do it all over again. And now they're going to be, and it's going to switch now that Trump's president, you know, they're going to be like, Oh, why do you hate freedom? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's interesting to, to watch all this. I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, you were saying last year, <laughs> wow, the hypocrisy. And then yeah. I'm reading the, I'm reading a book right now that is so good. It's called, you are not so smart. And the guy who wrote it has a website by the same name. You are not so podcast, smart. And he, right? Yeah, you know, have you heard it? I haven't listened to the podcast. I've subscribed yet. to it. I just haven't got around to listening to it yet. He is fantastic. I want to listen to it. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but the book and the website so good. But he talks, you know, about cognitive biases, confirmation bias, mm-hmm. politics, how people hear what they want to hear. And the more you learn about those things and the more you sit back and watch what's happening now, I just can't like the left complaining about Trump and war. I'm like, are you kidding me, Obama? How many people did he kill in his, you know, term? Oh my gosh. The drone strikes and all of a sudden now, you know, they're anti-war again and I just sit back like, you got to be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Where was the anti-war left this whole entire time? Yeah. Right now. Cuz you know, they had yeah. they had power and eventually he'll get around to ending the war. No, no, no. If anything, he's started what two conflicts right libya syria yeah. or he was meddling right. in the syria yeah the syria thing is an absolute mess yep. so yeah we have a writer now um who he also writes for anti-war and he's very knowledgeable about syria and he's been putting out things every day and i read and i'm like oh my gosh this is what a mess yeah it's pretty sad <sighs> I hope they don't go over there and start bombing it because it's going to be a whole bigger disaster than it needs to be. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. It's, you know, that imperialism thing. Exceptionalism is never... We can do whatever we want. We don't have to follow international law. Who cares? I hate saying we. You know what I mean. I really don't like that word. But when I say we, I'm... I don't care about mouse pocketing. (laughs) I really don't. I don't care. Some people are very picky. It depends with me if someone says something very, especially somebody who talks about who's very for borders. When they start saying we, I'm like, oh, you're collectivizing. (laughs) I'll call them out on it. Um, All right. So like the way people talk, (laughs) they use language and language has like these little kind of quirks to it. And we is one of them. If, If you're, if you're, if you're forced into a team, then you're going to say we, right? Like you're, you're kind of forced right. into the American government team. We're all kind of in for, we'd love to divorce ourselves from it. So we like to kind of mentally free ourselves. But at the end of the day, what are you freeing yourself from? A spook, like a language, yeah. a language. Spook <laughs> at the end of the day. That's true. <laughs> That's a good point. So like, I love trolling people with that. I love doing it. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> When I, when I see like liberal going like we're going over there and bombing them, like do you support that? And like, wait, hold on, I'm not bombing them. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting then, here in my living room on the internet on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it, and it just it just makes them angry, and that's the only reason why I'm doing it. Um, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, like I, I don't begrudge people who who mouse pocket, and I, I really I think it's kind of silly that people get like so upset, like or we I I, I didn't do it. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Yeah, well, you know, we're a pedantic bunch. I said we. Oh, my God. The the Liberty people are very pedantic. Yeah. Every and the other thing, thing is... To, like, they really will argue semantics. I'm like, seriously, do I have to explain? I'll go and edit <laughs> posts. I'm like... Disclaimer, I'm not saying this or that. You I'm guys not are saying you, Bob so Syria. This. I'm just Seriously. talking like a normal human being. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah. And the I'm other the saying. other thing, which you just said, kind of t- that's why I kind of was like, Ugh, was when people go like, well, that's collectivist. Ergo, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always bad. Yeah. I just I like to kind of troll people a little bit too and give them a hard time. Yeah. Okay. If I see them being hypocrites, if I see them not being Okay. So if, if they're one of those people like, oh, you're collectivizing me, collectivizing me. Oh, by the way, we should keep out those those brown people. <laughs> now okay. Yes. You're collectivizing. Yeah, okay, I could see that. But the that, whole I have to say, wait a minute. But like I love when people like there was some guy who was like He's like, oh, so you're because I was talking about vaccines and her, herd immunity, and he was like, oh, so basically it's it's collectivization. I was like, huh? He's like, what? It only, it only works because it you have to have other people doing it together. Therefore, it's collectivization. I'm like, so just out the gate, like everything that's collectivized like that is bad. He's like, of course. I was like, okay, so oh, you don't, good so you, grief. There are so many. So you don't yeah. use Bitcoin. What? Like, Ooh, that's a good comeback. So without, I mean, because without, unless everybody on the network right. is contributing to it, like, or not everybody, but unless a large portion of, of different computers are using it, it's it's going to be worthless. Right. Yeah. yeah, that was, that's, um. I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah, but it, uh, <laughs> pretty much into that debate. <laughs> yeah, and, and there, will, there will be a lot of times where more people doing something is is good. Heck, more people... Feeding the homeless more. I don't know. I could think of a lot of examples where what some people would call collectivism would be good. Are people working together? Yeah. In I'm all about collectively, that. not in a collective. That's a completely different thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> but people voluntarily working, working together. That's yeah. why I say voluntarious now to people. I'm like voluntary. No one is being forced to participate. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Li- libertarians can be silly. Everybody can be silly. And I, I'm but it's it's not just the left. It's not just libertarians. It's not just conservatives. Like it's everybody acts <laughs> acts like a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but it, but they Tell only how you really feel. No, that's true. <laughs> but but they but they're only right when they talk about other people. They're wrong when they say like it's just them though. It's not just them. <laughs> it's you too. You just don't see it's it. It's everybody. Yeah. And I really like it when people can admit that too. You know, I'll say, I know that I'm biased, but this is what I think. And I saw somebody post today that before they um get upset with someone, they'll stop and think, like, wait a minute, do I do this too? Yep. <laughs> I sure do. Yep. So I probably shouldn't be mad. Everybody's guilty. I, I catch I'm myself guilty. all the time. Yeah, I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm not saying that like everybody is terrible and like, you should be like me. Like, no, I do it too. <laughs> Everybody's guilty. Yeah. The the point is you're supposed to recognize it when you do it and go like, okay, I'm going to do that less than everybody yes, else. Yes, and when someone mentions it and points it out, because I've had that happen to me plenty of times over the years where someone will say, wait a minute, you sound a little biased. Maybe this happened. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're right. All right. <laughs> if you don't say touche often or something yeah. similar, you're probably not very intellectually honest. <laughs> I said like, that in a private message last night to somebody. Touche. Like, oh, you got me. <laughs> yeah. Point. Never thought of it like that. Oops. Huh. But I like it when people call me out on my BS. I expect that to happen. I have a 17 year old. That's his job is because he's smarter <laughs> than I am because kids know more than their parents. And he's done with, he's a year, you know, done with school a year early because he homeschooled and I'm like, who homeschooled you? Okay. So, you, you know, that's why you're as smart as you are because of me, but <laughs> I just tease him. But yeah, without him around to tell me <laughs> that I'm always wrong. <laughs> Shut up, mom. You don't know what it's like I know. young. <laughs> I'm like, check yourself before you wreck yourself, sir. <laughs> Reason number 8,573,000 and not having kids. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, yeah, there's, um, you know, more, more pros than cons, but. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, the teen years are so challenging. That's 
They're insane. Like, I like it. See, yeah, no, no. And you, they're and insane torn because <laughs> they are teenagers really insane. are insane. <laughs> they are the hormones. I don't. The, it's a drug. They want to be independent, but they don't. Like one minute, my son is, I'm gonna move out next year, and next minute, mom, can I have fifty dollars? <laughs> like, dude, which is it? Pick one. You, you can yeah, only have one out, of these. It's not gonna be <laughs> right. If you move out, it's not gonna be mom. You pay my water bill or whatever. <laughs> no. Happening. so funny <laughs> yeah i mean you want them to be smart and you want them to be independent thinkers but that can backfire on you because i've always like when my son comes to me with an idea and i did this with my daughter too when they come to me with an idea and they want to do something i'm like well make your argument for it and they'll present all their little facts you know or, or their ideas and then we'll go back and forth and discuss and a lot of times he he outsmarts me. I'm like, man, this is, I got to stop doing this and just say no. <laughs> this is backfiring on me. Touche. <laughs> yeah. I guess like, you can't Why can't have I stay car? out until yeah. midnight tonight? And I'm like, because it's Tuesday. He's like, so I'm done with school and it's the summer. And I'm like, oh, because I said so. <laughs> I don't want to ever say that. My parents said it and I hated it. My mom did. My, my dad would sit me down and say, because this, this, and this. And I'd get the little lecture <laughs> <sighs> yeah. yeah yeah kids, times. kids when that when that that, that moment when they start out start outsmarting you while they're high as hell on hormones pass. <laughs> yeah it's fun over here lately yeah oh boy yeah mm -hmm. I, like I know there's like all these people who are like, oh, like dating what is, dating a 13 year old is not pedophilia. It's hypophilia. Uh, oh yeah, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't like, get it. I would never, never. I don't care if it was like the most socially upset, uh, acceptable thing ever, and I was physically attracted to 13 year olds. No, 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 no. <laughs> they're, they're horrible. Yeah, no way. I can't even handle like 35 year olds. So. <laughs> anything oh my god <laughs> 13 is out <laughs> it's not happening yeah like and it, it, it i'm sorry like they actually are high on like a like a really crazy cocktail of hormones that they that they've never experienced before i just hit them but somehow they're able to consent but if they're actually like wrecked drunk then oh that's terrible <laughs> they're not yeah, in that's, right mind there's that lack of logical yeah. Consistency and common sense that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, nah. mm. Mm. just, I'm not. Yeah, that one irks me name. too. Yeah, <laughs> it drives me crazy. I think I probably know who you mean. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've seen those arguments. Like I just, uh, again, roll my eyes. I wouldn't even think. I wouldn't even think about dating someone at least if they were 21. At least, because 21 is like, I want to take you somewhere, and everywhere I want to take you is. They're going to be like 21 and over anyway. You know, bars. Yeah. Uh, pubs. Um, True. What else? Casinos. <laughs> you got to be 21. All the fun places. It's like, okay, you can't. Like, we're going to walk through a casino now. You have to hold my hand because you're not 21 yet. <laughs> I'm going to drop you off at the daycare. Yeah, I'm going to drop you off at the arcade. Place we let. <laughs> Here's $20. Don't spend it all on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it would be pac-man for me if they still have those i don't know that's how old yeah. i am <laughs> it's usually the classic stuff they kind of keep around but yeah yeah see good, good. that and skill games that's what it's all i remember we tried to go because i remember carlos morales came out to vegas and he was like i have a layover i want to hang out for a little bit i was like cool right. we're like <laughs> What, what, let's go check out an arcade. And I was like, okay, let's go check out uh, Insert Coins. Sh they closed. I did not get that memo. And I was like, ah, that place was awesome. All right, where else is there? And I was like, oh, yeah, Circus Circus. <laughs> no, they're closed. But Circus Circus wow, is like Wow, they are? No, no, they're they're closed at night. Cause he For came the night. Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha. I think they closed about 10 o'clock or something like that. And That's lame. Like, but it's a huge arcade <laughs> and it's for kids, you know, it's not for adults. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that circus, case, circus. it's probably good that they close early, right? Yeah. <laughs> I went there, gosh, but that was, I don't know, 17 years, eight, 
19 years ago. Yeah. I think it was 1980. They still put coins in the machine, huh? Wow. Yes. <laughs> you had to walk around with a bucket full of quarters. Uh-huh. And I used to go to Delaware, too, to Denver Downs with a big bucket full of tokens. And... <laughs> I used to win pretty big in Delaware at Dover Downs slots. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, <laughs> that's probably where Steve Miller Miller is. He was supposed to hit me up after, <laughs> but he never did. <laughs> he was like, I'm just going to wait until after you guys are done recording. Cause I want to record afterwards too. Yeah. I got three shows oh. to record tonight and I don't know where oh, Steve do is. You? So. Is that why I see people logging in? <laughs> no, that's him. No, that's just people. Cause there's, oh. a, there's another discord group that I'm in. Um, yeah, this is neat. Yeah, this system is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't need to invite you. There's actually a li- link in the in the in the Lobert thing, but oh, <sighs> gracias. Yeah, that that's for the libertarian <laughs> New California Republic. <laughs> sort of oh <Yeah>. wow, <laughs> cool. Anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, like I remember when I was when I was a kid back when everything was re- like coin op. Like there was an arcade in almost every casino and it was, they were amazing. They were like the best arcades in the world. Like the Luxor had like a whole downstairs area and it was huge. And like Sega owned, like M- Sega owned it. Like that was their little project. Wow. And it was, and they had like one of those, you know, you know those racing games, but there would be like yeah. 30 cars. Like it was huge. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's neat. Gone. Just gone. Wow, that's so sad. What Nothing's a shame. left. Now it's like a t- Titanic museum. It's sad. You gotta be kidding. Yeah. That's late. That's really... It's a downer. Arcades are fun. I haven't been to one in, in a really long time, but now you got me thinking I, I would go to one. I would go to an arcade this weekend <laughs> if there was one around here. Now I want to find out. There, I a... remember when malls had them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What's, like you'd send your kids there. A, now you can't mall? do that because someone will snatch them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, really my mom would give us quarters like go to play yeah. pac-man or frog or whatever for while and space invaders while i shop oh yeah i used to be a mall rat <laughs> in were high, you <laughs> in junior high and high school i would i would be a mall rat <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> Not else to do what were you we didn't have the internet what were you gonna do <laughs> weekends or after school i do my homework and then me and my friends would walk to the mall because it was like a mile and a half walk okay fuck it we got nothing better to do uh, Did you get, get Orange Julius and like pretzels? <laughs> I hate Orange Julius with a passion. What? I How? hate Orange Julius. Pretzels are another story. I love love pretzels, but all right. We should go out in the balcony or the, the we call it the bridge <laughs> and smoke cigarettes. And anytime the security guard would come up, we're like, oh, put it out because I'm not 18. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. times have changed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now cigarettes, like, man, it's not a big deal. It's unusual to see, but. Yeah. And I was like, you shouldn't smoke weed out here, sir. <laughs> oh, if we smoked weed out there, this is the 90s. We'd probably go to jail. <laughs> Bust us. My, one of my friends who's older than I am, he's like 50, I think, maybe 51. Last summer, we went to this little bar to hear a band um, not too far from where I live. And he's like, I got this really good medical weed. <laughs> we have to, uh, we have to, um, try this stuff out and he's like let's just go in the parking lot and i said dennis we're not, there's like people out there we're not gonna go in the parking lot <laughs> and smoke weed <laughs> and he's like no i'm gonna go out there so he goes out there and i was standing in front of the bar with my other friend and we're watching dennis you know across the parking lot and sure enough a guy comes over and he's like dude no you can't do that here <laughs> it's like i told you to do that <laughs> Yeah, and everybody got those vape pins. I'm not going to name names because oh, that'd yeah. be terrible. But when I was at Freedom Fest <laughs> last year, which I'm going to be at the whole the whole entire thing um, this time around, I uh, mm-hmm. there was a lot of people who were hanging out in the smoking section area, mm-hmm. and they'd be like smoking a cigarette, and then when they'd look around, get those little vape pins and switch it out, and you know, <laughs> there, was, there was a nicotine in there. It's like, why are you smoking a cigarette and vaping? Come on. They're like, you want to hit? Like, no, 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 no. I don't smoke weed anymore. (laughs) Yeah, I I haven't in a long time. I'm very much, um, you know, for it being completely decriminalized. Uh, 
I prefer that to legalize because of the taxation part and regulation part, but I don't, um, you know, I'm not a person who really needs anything like that. I already have enough fun <laughs> and enough craziness. I don't need substances to help me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> just, just not weed. I had a bad experience with weed. I get super paranoid anytime I smoke. Like, ex and I, like it was legal. I, no, I think it was not legal, but like just no one cared at that point. Um, <coughs> and I was like scared to death that like someone was going to smell it and call the cops on me. And, but I knew that like that wasn't feasible because all my other neighbors smoke pot all the time and they smell it all the time and no one gives a shit. You know, and I only took one hit <laughs> in my kitchen. <laughs> wow. And there was no way anybody could really smell it, but I was freaking out. And I just, I'd have like these paranoid, and it all came from like a bad edible um, experience. But someone told me that like you could eat peppercorns and that gets rid of it. I don't know to try it. But, oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Have you seen Joe Rogan talk about edibles? He does a stand up thing. Yes. It is so funny. How like he has the gummy yes. bear. <laughs> He's like, just eat the foot. <laughs> Yes. These things were so strong. What is in this stuff? Yeah. And ex it, <laughs> my experience like is exactly like that, only terrifying. Like oh, exactly no, how he describes it, except in, in every in every bad aspect of it. Like if the worst <laughs> way you can interpret what he's saying. That's what there's happened. There's one in every group, like the person who everybody else is having fun, and there's one that's like, Oh man, I'm feeling you know, paranoid, and you're like, oh, oh you're gonna like ruin the night for everybody. <laughs> We're not letting you smoke anymore. <laughs> I dated a guy like that. He'd get paranoid. I was like, you're just not allowed to do this anymore. We're not. We're gonna do something else or nothing. Because <laughs> you're a buzzkill. <laughs> yeah, I've I've never been. I never been that person where I was like paranoid and ruining everybody's fun. It was more kind of like, Jim, why are you looking out the window? Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I've what always had like, a, yeah, I've always had like a little bit of paranoia in me. And then when I smoke weed, it kind of comes out a little bit more, but just re like ever since that bad <laughs> episode, it's just been like crippling paranoia. <laughs> like I've never. Oh no, yeah. that's not fun. Yeah. So and it lasts like, for a while. Yeah. I'll eat mushrooms. Like just go to stuff. bed. You know, I have not tried those. Not because I don't want to, just because I don't <laughs> no. have anybody that I can Everybody trust to, to do that with. <laughs> who, I mean, because I hear you vomit, and I'm like, who do I want to be around no. where I'm not going to be crazy and puking? No. And who do I? <laughs> no, it make you vomit. Maybe Didn't that's you, ayahuasca. You should of. really listen to the episode that MK and I did the last time because we actually talk about drugs in some of the ways. Okay. That, <laughs> I, I've, I, I, I've experienced nausea, but no vomiting. It's just kind of like. Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. But there's there's a cure for that. You just eat or drink something like really creamy, like a creamy soup or creamy mm, hot okay. coffee. That all helps. Getting it down is also really hard sometimes for me because it tastes disgusting. Like, yeah, it, I heard ever that. had like a bad sunflower seed, like where you eat it and you're just like, ugh, ugh. like rancid. Yeah, ugh. that's what it tastes like <laughs> to me. Ew. But if you eat it with chocolate, like I make a little. I, <laughs> I should make that <laughs> desserts with I get like a Hershey bar and I put all the mushrooms on top of like I break it in half and I put all the mushrooms on top and then I put <laughs> and I make a sandwich out of it. Can't wow. taste it. Can't taste oh, any of it. I like chocolate. I can and it's bizarre. That. I don't like that Hershey, is weird. But it works. Hmm. I could I could get down a Hershey bar easily. I can't get down <laughs> mushrooms at all. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I've heard about people putting them on pizza, like wrapping them up and trying oh, to eat them that no. way. No. No. Chocolate. <laughs> it's gotta be chocolate. I mean, I chocolate. love chocolate, so that sounds ideal to me. I've mixed it in soup yeah. before. That was really rough, but it, it it's a whole lot Ugh. easy. It's a whole lot easier than just alone for me. Uh, it's just, oh man, I just hate everything about them. <laughs> yeah, they Except sound. That's the, another thing, the ick factor. I'm like, uh, yeah. I don't know. But then once I'm, you get them down, I want to have the experience yeah. though. Once you get them down, it, it's a whole lot of fun. I do it by myself. Ooh. Like, I probably wouldn't recommend it your first time. <laughs> so I was kind of ready for it. <laughs> yeah. Like, if it was my first time, like, I would be like, okay, I need someone here to make sure that I don't like strip naked and run outside freaking out. <laughs> Jump in front of traffic. We're streaking in the quad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is no 
quiet. This is a part of complex. Damn it. <laughs> I'd be the one. I'm not the person you want to do that stuff with because I'd be egging you on. I think you should take off all your clothes. <laughs> down the street. See that cop over there? No, I wouldn't do that. that's that's harsh. Make yourself. I wouldn't. Don't I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go that far. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my daughter is 24, and she told me she tried them once, and she said that they tasted really bad, and she didn't like it at all, and she got really paranoid and. I'm like, yeah, my bad environment. daughter is 24 and she's tried this and I've never even tried. You got to be in a good environment. You got to be ready to clean out your attic because everything that you that's in the back of your head that you don't like to think about, it's going to come out. And you're going huh. to you're gonna have to think about it because your brain just oh, wants wow. your brain just like reaching for everything inside. It's it's a kind of a weird experience because if, if there's anything that you're embarrassed, like in any, that time in sixth grade... Where someone pantsed you, <laughs> oh, no. and, and like after you got pantsed, you got you sharded, like anything like that. <laughs> like it's gonna be like, hey, buddy, remember that time in junior high? <laughs> oh my gosh! When, that, when you have... hit, when you were hitting on that girl and she turned you down, and it oh, turned, man, and it turned probably... out that your pants were wet, and she thought that you peed yourself. <laughs> remember there's how embarrassing so that much was. Stuff. That I have suppressed, I bet, that I forgot about. I think you about. should deal with this right now. Oh. oh no. <laughs> like that's what your brain does when you're shrooming. So it's oh, a really good man. time to clean out your eye deck. <laughs> How long does it last? Like, you it's eat about, a couple. It depends. And... If, if, you, if you have it like a tea, so like yeah. you make like a tea, it's going to last short. It's probably going to be like four or, five hour, or four or five hours. Eating it raw or dried, you're probably going to be eating it at six to eight. So. Wow. Okay. But huh. the six to eight's not going to hit you as strong as the tea. Like the tea is really going to be like strong. So. Wow. So okay, do this with somebody who you don't mind hearing all your dirt. No, then, you don't. No, you like. don't. They're not. Gonna, you're not going to be <laughs> verbally saying like. You're not going to be saying that out loud. Like, oh my god. Oh, well, maybe you will. Who knows? Drugs affect different people differently. <laughs> but you're just going to be probably like run a, like. But you'll probably a think narrative. about it. <laughs> You're gonna. You're probably. Get, it's probably gonna get brought up. You, you. You can probably kind of put a shit aside, but you, you're gonna do some attic cleaning for sure. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, yeah. I really want to try it now. Yeah. I'm curious. Probably got all kinds of cobwebs and stuff up there. <laughs> It needs to come out. <laughs> I have a friend who says that. I have a friend who teases me because I don't get out much. He's like, you need to get, go out and. You need to, uh, it's a guy on my Facebook page. He's really funny. You need to get out and you need to go on a date or something. My God, you know, why are you always sitting at home? He's like, go, are you, do you have cats yet? He teases me and he'll say like, you need to dust the cobwebs out. <laughs> like, God, man, I'm not that bad. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> it's not that bad. I might joke about being an introvert and not going out, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Wow. It's seriously, yeah. <laughs> See, so I probably would spill all my secrets. You'd probably just tell them, like, I gotta tell you everything that's in my head right now. <laughs> it's all everything that's ever happened to me. I'm a horrible me, yeah. person. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I gotta do it now. Now I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. But someone I trust, he's not gonna record it and do a Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah, that that's always a jerk thing to do. Yeah, that yeah. would be cool. Yeah, I'm just at the point yeah. now where I just if any time I do something like that, I can do it by myself. Or sometimes, I mean, the last time I no, not the second was it the last time. No, I did it one more time after that. Uh, the second is the last time I did acid. I uh, we we went down to the strip. <laughs> my, oh no! Yeah, Baron. God. Baron, I was like, hey, Baron, you could drive because I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Take me around the strip. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That has to be really st overstimulating being down there when you're on something. Yeah. I, and then in the end, I had much more fun after. It was like, all right, I'm gonna go home. And I just <laughs> laid in bed. And and by the way, highly again, highly recommend you don't do this. And listen and listen to the residents. <laughs> you know, laying in my bed. I had more fun doing that than walking around the, the strip. I, re oh, I wow. really need to reiterate 
don't listen to the residents while you're doing it. Oh, okay, stuff. noted, don't. noted. Unless All you're right. like an experienced. <laughs> <laughs> What do they call them? Tripper. No, what do they? Oh, there's a term for them. Cosmonaut. Unless you're like. Oh, yes. Unless you're like like a really good cosmonaut, like residents, you're going to be because I I like because I was trying to border on a bad trip, not actually have a bad trip, but just be (laughs) on that edge. Just ride it. Uh huh. Residents will do that. (laughs) All right. Now I kind of want to do it. I'm one of those people. If you tell me not to do it, I have to check it to see. (laughs) Like, well, I want to see what's going to happen to me. No, I'm going to do it. I'm like the lady who made your flags. I don't hear the no part. I just hear the do this. (laughs) I don't do it. As an, someone okay, who's experienced, I'm telling you, just don't do it. All right, I won't. I won't. I'll just. <laughs> They're pretty rugged. There's a, I'll just watch trippy stuff on YouTube or. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a Clutch fan. I'll just listen to Clutch. I don't know what that is. From, you don't know who Clutch is? What? <laughs> oh, now that you asked me again, I do now. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, now you do. <laughs> I'm like, did he hear me right? He didn't hear me right the first time. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be tagging you later. <laughs> they're um people say they're woke. <laughs> they're from Maryland and they are totally um they get it. <laughs> and I think some of their music would be perfect to listen to during Oh, well, they got a Wikipedia. A psychedelic page, so experience. Not, it's, it's not one of those really it's not an obscure band you probably haven't heard of yet. It's some <laughs> Let's see. Uh, They're um. I'm surprised. I just heard of them for the first time two years ago. I went to a music festival and they were in Baltimore, and they were there. And I was like, "Whoa, I love these people. Who are they?" <laughs> and my friends were like, "Seriously, they're they're from Maryland. They've been around for years. You don't know who they are." I'm like, no, I came here to see Godsmack. I don't know. Ew. <laughs> but uh, I oh stop. <laughs> I just wanted to actually no that show. I went to see Reverend Horton Heat. That's why. I okay. Was there for that. I'll for that allow one. it. I'm, I'm obsessed. I love them. Yeah. I've seen them. I don't know. Probably six or eight times. I guess Bam Margera. Mm-hmm. Bam Margera had featured the band on their Viva La Bam show with Ryan Dunn, Brandon D. Camille, and Don Vito. Rip and peace. Oh, wait a minute. Which band? Reverend Horton Heat or Clutch? Clutch. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, see when I when I when yeah. I when I when I do it, I, I love listening to things like um not the residents. That that was that was a one off. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I think I'm actually gonna remember <laughs> that recommendation. <laughs> yeah, and that was acid, like mushrooms you could probably get away with it because having a bad trip on mushrooms that's it's not really common but acid yeah that was really right in the line um no but i listen to things like tame impala or um flaming lips or oh yeah um, okay thing you know psychedelic stuff that's really kind of like happy and cheery you know probably so, a good idea to or, set that kind of mood or prog rock like the mars volta or something like that Pink Floyd. That no. sounds, Pink yeah, Floyd's that sounds okay. good. Ooh, Pink Floyd would be good. Yeah, hmm. but it's just, I don't know. I don't. It's just like a, a lot of the stuff that people say. Like <laughs> you have to listen to this stuff when you're tripping, and you listen to it, you're like, and I love Pink Floyd. I love Dark Side of the Moon. It's like one of my favorite albums. But when I'm tr- tripping, it's like, okay, I'm just listening to Pink Floyd. But if if I'm listening to something that has like a lot of complexity with a lot of things different going on in the sound. It's Pink Floyd has some of that, but it's it's not as intense as some of the stuff that's out now. I'm just like, all right, it's kind of boring. <laughs> like, <I've> heard, <laughs> yeah. But you can actually huh. feel things like the Mars Volta when you, there's little sound effects going in the background. You're just like, oh, I felt that. Ooh, okay, that's <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah. I'm so curious now. Hmm, I'm on a mission. I'm gonna have to find somebody to help me out with this. Somebody not creepy or weird. <laughs> Some, like someone daughter. I trust. <laughs> or is she creepy or weird? Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember I that time imagine. she would she be like, "Mom, you're me. such a weirdo." <laughs> yeah. Mom, God, you're so weird. <laughs> I have this friend that wants something. <laughs> you can get it for me. Oh, thanks. Um, don't bother me tonight. <laughs> it's for science. It's for science. It's for my. I'm gonna write an, an, an article. article about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, what's funny is I've, I've written a lot of articles about those things, but I've never done them myself. MDMA, yes, but the rest, no. Yeah, I'm afraid but of But MDMA, it. it was years ago. Yeah, I'm afraid of doing it, and it's not because I'm afraid of the chemical. I'm afraid of the other chemicals they're going to give me instead of MDMA. <laughs> like, <laughs> I keep hearing stories. Like every, I think like – there was a thing that I heard. I don't know if it's it's true, but I'm sure it's mostly true or some somewhat true that most of the time when you buy uh, Molly, it's not Molly. It's something else. Yeah, that is true. Um, you, a lot of times it's meth yeah. from what I've heard and some other horrible things in, in it. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what I did, but I know that the effects that I experienced were like what people explain, like how they describe ecstasy. But it was it was years ago. Uh and yeah, the, but the, but the bad part about that is the serotonin depletion that you experience afterward. You're really depressed. I was really depressed for like two days after oh, I've never experienced a down I'm like that so in my depressed. life. Like Don't just wanted to sit on the couch. <laughs> yeah. The talk about existential depression. He has been programmed to have a sunny and cheerful disposition. <laughs> So I just watched that not too long ago. <laughs> They're me a the size of a planet. And they're asking me to bring you up to the bridge. Call that job satisfaction because I don't. <laughs> it was like that. It was okay. very it was really sad. Much. Like being Marvin. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was sad. It was I'm like, I want this to go away. Give me five HTP. And that didn't really help that much. Yeah. So I haven't done it since because of that. Yeah, I get depression every once in a while. Uh, I'm good on not taking things that'll give me that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like kratom for things like that. Like, well, I use it for migraines, and it works great for migraine. It's fantastic, but I don't use it often because I don't. I'm not a person who really. I'm kind of a health nut, and I really don't like to take a lot of things. Period. Mm -hmm. I don't take anything prescription. I don't even take a lot of vitamins. But the kratom is has been a lifesaver for me for headaches. It's great because I get migraines with the visual auras, uh, which sound like they'd be trippy, but they're absolutely horrible. <laughs> it's like actually, the worst thing I was like, ever. Actually, I want that. <laughs> yeah. I, oh my gosh. Trip? They call them scintillating scotomas, and they're like these flat. It's like when someone takes your picture. Yeah, it sounds great, doesn't it? They make it sound all sexy and it's scintillating sucks. auras. <laughs> auras, yeah. But they they look like when someone takes your picture with a flash camera and then you see the flashes, and that lasts for like an hour. It's horrible. I can't drive or anything. Uh, I have to sit and wait for it to go away, and it it passes through my field of vision like an out through the peripheral. Works with that. Kratom just gets rid of it. It just stops it, nips it right in the bud. Like I, nice. as soon as it starts, I take the kratom and I'm good. It's amazing. Do you get kratom I'm, I'm from from our affiliate Lulberts? Uh, I don't know who. Or kratom. I don't know who your affiliate com. is. Uh, Kraken. Oh no, but it's good to know that there's a resource that you that yeah. you have. Yeah, I get mine from a, just a friend on Facebook um, who sells it. Yeah. He, Facebook keeps trying to shut him down. They don't like that he's doing this. So. You know what pisses me off about kratom, and it's not their fault. It's the government, mm. fucking government. What pisses me off is like yeah. when I go Always and buy is. Kratom, it's really hard to kind of like get some information on it, like what it does. They'll just be like, mm -hmm. it's fast, it's slow, it's medium. And then you go and like <laughs> look at it, look it up, and then it'll be like, yeah, it's like you'll see reviews of it. People will be like, yeah, it says it's slow, but it's more like a medium slow. It's like, well, I don't want medium slow. I want like slow, slow, <laughs> like yeah like corky slow <laughs> like, I really and what's really <laughs> it just clicked oh my god i got that <laughs> <laughs> okay like i want slow <laughs> yeah it's, what's confusing about it too is they'll call it red green and white and but they all look green it's green powder so yeah. i have bags of green powder that have different colors on them and i'm like uh, i don't seen, know if seen, it's the same to me i've seen but the effects kind of, are very yeah. different <laughs> Yeah, see, I, I, like, I don't like the red. It makes me itchy. I don't think I don't. I think everything that I've had has been green, but I, I like I, the green. I just want like whatever it says opioid, but it, they can't say that on the site. Like they can't say like, oh, this has an opioid effect. They can't do it, and it drives me nuts. Right. And I'm like, All right, so I have to find <laughs> somebody who reviewed this brand from this company. Who was who was saying things and hope that they're going to mention if it's an opioid effect or not. 
And I did find one, and it came from Kraken that everybody was like, yeah, it's okay, but like, it's really opioid heavy. Oh, Shut up and take wow. my money. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. I just say that it acts on opioid, opi- blah, opiate receptors. It's not yeah. actually an opiate. And people are like, ooh, okay, tell me more. <laughs> yeah. it's, been, it's been a few months since I've touched it because I like to take tolerance, like long tolerance breaks. And then I just, then I get crazy for like a month. And then I'm like, okay, that was fun. I don't know, two, three yeah. months off. Yeah. I'm careful because for the same reason, because it works so well for the migraines, I don't want it to stop working. And so I'm very careful. I also have CBD oil that I use for some things and I do the same thing with that. I only use it when I really need it because otherwise I don't know with CBD if you develop a tolerance, but I don't want to risk it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything. I know a lot of people love that stuff and I'm just like. It tastes so bad. Mine is so <laughs> gross. When you were talking about mushrooms earlier, I was like, I wonder if it tastes if they taste worse than the, the CBD oil that I have. It is so awful because it's coconut oil and like Everclear alcohol, and then the mine is made from hemp, Ugh. and it's just yeah, it tastes like dirty oil. <laughs> it's gross with alcohol in it. Just imagine that. But I swear by it. It's great. It helped me with arthritis pain that I had. It's gone. It helps your arthritis too. <laughs> I know. I sound like an old lady. I'm really not. <laughs> I just turned 47. I'm not that old. I sound like I'm 60 here. And not that 60 is old. Now I'm going to offend people. <laughs> Do not I what have I mean. listeners that are 60? I don't know. Probably. You might. You never know who's listening right now. <laughs> I don't know why I listen to this show with all these young grass. Rap scallions. Whippersnappers their, talking about drugs. Talking about their drugs and their kratom and their egoism and their flags and, <laughs> and their spooks. Their spooks. And their, I guess Baron's going to come over, so beer. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yep. <clears throat> yep. So, so where can hey. they find you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can find me. Well, <laughs> depending on what you want to find me for. <laughs> Nutritionalanarchy.com. Where, where, is my where can website. people go to argue with you about the flat earth? Because clearly you're wrong. Oh, well, that would be Facebook. You're Lisa's the last globe, show. <laughs> globe cuck. <laughs> I just put myself out there. Yeah, yeah, just Facebook for that. And then if you want to read my work, it would be nutritionalanarchy.com. That's. The Daily Sheep will there too, but. Oh. Hot sauce is hot. That's for all the anti gov stuff. <laughs> right on. Right uh, on. Yeah, worms. <laughs> I thing. almost said that. Worms. We, we worms here. It's ingrained in my brain forever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, never, I'll never stop doing it. Sorry. It's, it's mine. It's now. great. It's, it's, it's... That's our word now. <laughs> It's bib cotted, so anybody can use it. Yep. <laughs> Except government. <laughs>